Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this program. Today, we are making Navajo stew. Join me. Shall ya? Now, now, today. It just smell good as a motherfucker. The motherfucker's got a dirty mouth. For burn my motherfucking biscuit. Cause he's the greasy from the south. You take that greasy and put it over your fucking gravy. He's always got something for that ass. And you make your fucking gravy. Cause he's always been talking that trash. I wish you motherfuckers would smell this shit. Cause he's the innocent. Now, if you were to Google Navajo stew, there is a million different recipes, and none of them have the same ingredients. It's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. This version we're making today is from an actual Navajo Indian that I uh, met when I was in Sky, uh, Sky City, outside of Albuquerque, on the west side of Albuquerque. I spent the night, and I liked the stew really well. I went and had dinner in, in this uh, hotel, and uh, had the chef come out and tell me what he put in it. So... Uh, this is as close to the Navajo stew as what I know that the actual Navajo Indian made for me. Um, so, that's what we're making. So here is the ingredients you're going to need for the Insane Chef's version of Navajo stew. You're going to need cilantro. Some caldo de mati. Some queso fresco. Some hominy. Some leftover beef rib and steak. Red onion. Red potatoes. Green chilies. These are poblanos. Garlic. Avocado. And just for shit's sake, because I had three mushrooms left from the other night. We're going to throw those in there. That's not traditionally in there, but we're going to throw it in there anyway. Traditionally, this dish would be made with mutton, sheep, goat, something of that nature. But since we have some leftover rib, that's what we're using. So the first thing we're doing here is roasting off these green chilies, these poblano peppers. Here's our chilies they are roasted off. What you want to do is let them sweat for a little bit. Put you a nice full hat on them. Nice tin foil hat and let them uh, sit there and, and uh, steam themselves, get that skin off of there. So I guess it's about time to, uh, well, take a shot of rum. That's more like it. <clears throat> and uh, cut this meat up here. Yeah, cut this meat straight off the bone for our stew. What the hell am I going to do with these extra bones here? Uh, hey, chef! Can I suck the fucking bone? <laughs> yeah, Conky, you can definitely suck the motherfucking bone. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> them uh, peppers there are good and uh, sweated. What I'm going to do is rinse these under some cold water, take that char off of them, and we're going to dice them up. So the moral to the story here is... When you think you charge your uh, chilies enough, keep on charring. You see how black them were? Once you rinse them off, the skin comes right off of there and you got a nice, beautiful roasted chili. Let's dice these up. And there we go, them roasted chilies smell delicious. So there we go, all of our prep work is made. The onion, a mushroom, a potato, chopped cilantro, minced garlic, and all this here uh, meat. 
I also got these dice chilies here that we fire roasted. This is gonna be fucking delicious. So if you're into fast food, take your ass to fucking McDonald's because this meal is not for you. As you can see, there's a lot of fucking prep work that goes into this shit. We are just now ready after doing all that other work to start actually cooking this dish. Let's get started. Okay, so you need a big stock pot here. We got uh, uh, onions and uh, mushrooms going in first. Next be our green chili. Get out of that little green chili. Get your ass out. No one go. That's been going about a minute now. Now it's time to throw in this meat. This soup is going to be fucking delicious. I can't wait to eat dinner tonight. Oh yeah. I mean, damn. The smell of that uh, onion and those chilies and that smoked meat. I wish you motherfuckers could smell this shit. Now, since most of you motherfuckers didn't go out and smoke, uh, you know, 20 pounds of fucking beef short ribs, uh, the easiest way to do this, if you want to make this recipe at home, would be to go up and get you some, uh, uh, some smoked brisket somewhere and just chop it up in there like I did the short rib. Okay, so that's been cooking there for about three or four minutes there. Rinding that meat down. Now it's time to put your garlic in. Now if you put your garlic in too soon, she'll fucking burn up on you. Go ahead and throw a potato in there. Get that potato. There we go. Give that a stir, we're gonna add some water to it. At this point, we're gonna throw in our caldo tomato. We got four bouillon cubes here. And we're gonna start adding our uh, purified water here. So at this point, what we're doing here, we're straining this excess fat off the top here. So that's been cooking about eight minutes now. All we're waiting on now is for them uh, potatoes to cook. I've rinsed and uh, drained the hominy here. Put the hominy in. And we're gonna throw a couple tablespoons of Colonel Insane's in here. If you don't know how to make Colonel Insane, it's on an old video I did. It's your homework to find out which video it was, because I don't remember. But it's been over a year ago. Mmm, that's smelling good. Give that a stir. Oh, yeah. Mmm-hmm. We almost ready. Time to add that cilantro in there. Wee! I want you to look at that shit. That's a soup fit for a king. King chef. Yeah, I got some crumbled queso fresco we're gonna throw on here. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's looking delicious. Next, we're gonna throw a little chopped avocado on here. This is still missing one damn thing. Some motherfucking cornbread for that shit. Well, I guess we've reached that part of the program where it's time for the moment of truth. What do this Navajo stew taste like? Very hot.
Mmm. Got a big spoonful. She got all of me. Mmm. It's fucking delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, so between showing you the moment of truth and now, I didn't eat two bowls of that. Shit was fucking delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I got some left over for tomorrow. If you enjoy these instructional kind of videos, let me know down below. If you like the funnier videos or whatever you like, let me know below. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today. And as always, you motherfuckers have a good day.